Juan and Kathy said they had to get ready? That's what they said. That's odd. All right, we're ready. We should have. Here we came. A beret? French bread? Oui, oui, madame, mademoiselle, and monsieur. We're ready for, for Paris, for the Fête de Federation. Champagne, the Moulin Rouge. Oui, oui. I don't get it. Who, who told you that? Why? Oh, Why? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Tonight we are here to present also some special awards to very special individuals who have contributed a great deal to our 2016 campaign. The Ann Goldsmith Hanau and the Jay Jerome Hanau Takuna Lum Award for Campaign Excellence honors a man and a woman whose volunteer work for the Federation annual campaign best exemplifies Takuna Lum, our mandate to heal, repair, and transform the world. Steve Eustin is somebody that knows how to contribute in any of the causes that he gets engaged. He has done so well for the campaign, and I am aware that probably one of the very few individuals that has almost two-thirds of all his people that he solicited increase their donation to the campaign this year. And I also know about uh, how he was able to pursue and continues trying to get the contributions way beyond their call of duty. No doubt he's a very unique kind of volunteer. Thank you, Juan. I'm particularly appreciative to be receiving this recognition for two reasons. One is, Ann and Jerry Hanau are my family. Uh, Jerry is my first cousin once removed, so to be getting an award uh, that is in their name is something that means a lot to me. The second and equally important part of it is, I'm, I'm thrilled to be recognized by so many fabulous leaders in this community. Juan Gershonik. Kathy Glazer, Joyce Pulitzer, the Garens. These are all leaders in our community that I'm particularly flattered to be honored by. So thank you. Kathy Bart is a dedicated volunteer, especially when it comes to the Federation annual campaign. She served in many different capacities, including as co-chair of the annual campaign with her husband Buddy several years ago. In this year's campaign, she co-chaired the Line of Judah event, and under her direction and that of her co-chair, Kelly Brenner, they had a highly innovative and very successful event. In addition, Kathy solicited donors for the campaign, and she successfully negotiated many increases. It is my pleasure to honor Kathy with this award. Thank you, Lisa, for those kind words. I'm so honored to be receiving the Hanau Award this evening. This New Orleans Jewish community is my family. My family is important to me, and I liken my volunteerism to having a family holiday dinner where everyone chips in, whether it be bring a dish, help clean up or just show up. Um, so I feel like I do my part by doing whatever I can, be it big or small. Um, everything I do is to help make this community, which is my family, stronger. It's not just these two wonderful people who have impacted our community. It's time to meet some of the other awardees of tonight. And um, for that, I call on Bobby Garron. You are up next, Bobby. Thank you, Juan. Anyone that knows my parents is aware of their profound passion and love for this Jewish community, for the state of Israel, for their faith, and their synagogue. And it is heartwarming for me as a son to know that the community has honored them with the award named after both of them. 
and the award is given each year typically to someone between the ages of 35 and 45 who has that same sense of commitment and passion for Jewish causes. I tried to meet with each of the award winners in order to be able to get to know them better and to get a sense of their own level of commitment and their contributions that they've already made to the community. And this year, it was obvious to me after meeting with Michelle Gelman why this uh, award is appropriate for her. I asked her where she got her sense of commitment and she said from her mom who impressed upon her at a young age the concept of giving back to the community and to making the community a better place. So when her two daughters became of age, she began to volunteer at their school and she picked up her commitment level at uh, Gates of Prayer where she's a third generation congregant. And she told me that one of the best positions she's ever had, the best title, is an immediate past president. So I asked her about uh, Federation. She said that she volunteered first to be a part of the young adult division. And through that um, visibility, she was immediately gobbled up and she and her husband, Vadim, were asked to participate in the Young Leadership Program, a Lemon Stern now, the Katz Phillips Program. And uh, it didn't stop from there. She told me that that program was a game changer for her, using her words. So, um, Federation loves people who gets involved and, and gets committed. So, uh, they've never stopped asking, and she keeps saying yes. So, she has been on the committee to revamp the um, Young Leadership Program. She was asked to be on the Federation Board and uh, she chaired the Gift of Israel program. And now she's on the executive committee and she is on the important committee to search for a new executive director. So I asked Michelle, where does she go from here? And she said without hesitation that she would hope that she can continue on the track of leadership and we will be certainly uh, the benefit of, beneficiary of that decision. So it is clearly my privilege to be able to present the Herbert and Margot Guerin Young Leadership Award to Michelle, a worthy recipient. Thank you, Bobby. I'm so honored to receive this award and to be recognized for um, what I find to be pleasure to be able to give back to the community, especially my Jewish community, which always means a lot to me. Um, I got involved before I had children, but uh, having the children really made me want to prove to them that you should give back. It's important. And I am just so honored um, this award, like your parents and you have been great volunteers in this community. So it's, it's such an honor to me to also get this award and to follow all the people before me that have deserved this award. So thank you excited to be presenting the Roger Bissinger Memorial Award tonight. Presented annually, this award honors the memory of my late father, Roger Bissinger. It celebrates a member of the New Orleans Jewish community whose steadfast commitment and leadership benefits the Jewish Federation of Greater New Orleans and numerous other civic, educational, and cultural organizations. My father was dedicated to the principles of Tikkun Olam, working tirelessly on behalf of all Jews to improve the world in which we all live. And Lise Khan certainly embodies those characteristics. In fact, no one knows better than I do. What do you mean, no one knows well, better than you? Well, I know her not. better than well, you. I mean, you know, well, uh, why don't you take over? Uh, 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 okay. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Alan, for those beautiful words. And uh, not, I just uh, need to disclose there's been a conflict of interest. There has been a conflict of interest. As you know, there is a committee, or you may not know, there's a committee uh, that meets every year to select uh, the recipient of the Bissinger Award. I happen to be on that committee. So Elise was one of the outstanding candidates. I mean, one of many outstanding candidates. So we met, I disclosed the conflict, and we resolved it. I asked everybody to leave the room they came back five minutes later and said, Lisa's has been selected. So that's how it worked. Now, you know, this, uh, Lisa just doesn't know how to say no. It's not in her vocabulary. You know, she's from Denmark and she lived in Israel. 
And about 25 years ago, I made a proposal to her, and she said yes. And she's been saying yes ever since, haven't you, dear? And probably it is because she th thinks my name is Khan, but sometimes it's Cain. And living in Israel, when you say Cain, that means yes. So that's why. But we are really honored, especially with our close ties to the Bissinger family for many generations. And uh, you couldn't have selected a better candidate, although there were other candidates. And you deserve it more than anyone else. Well, um, thank you. Um, thank you very, very much. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. Uh, I am so excited, uh, happy to be the recipient of this very, very prestigious and meaningful award. It's truly, it's truly, truly special. So I thank you. It's funny to think uh, that a mere, almost 25 years ago, I came, I came to this Jewish community that is open, warm, and welcoming that was ready to take me in. This Jewish community is really, really, really special. So it's, it's a natural, it's something that you feel in your heart that you need to be part of. I think that by doing, I hope that in some small way, I can say thank you to each and every one of you who have taken me in and made me one of yours. I also know that I am being presented with this award, but truly it belongs to many. Uh, as in every organization, there's someone behind you. This is the professionals and the staff. And so it's, so it is in each and every organization that I've been with. So to all of you that I have worked with over these many years, a heartfelt thank you. And to Alan and his committee, again, I am so honored. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome award. I know that I am following in some very, very big footsteps. I'm honored um, to realize that you think that I, I'm deserving. So, from the very, very bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Michael, that's an interesting choice of attire for a video highlighting your work on behalf of the Jewish community. Wait, I thought we were going out for an evening in Paris. Nope, we're not. Zut alor. I'm here to talk about the Cohen Jacobs Emerging Leader Award, named for my late husband, Buddy Jacobs, and for the late Rosalie Cohen of Preston Memory, both of whom served as president of Federation. This award celebrates the next generation J. Nola members of our New Orleans Jewish community whose involvement in social action networking and philanthropy are making a visible difference. Let me tell you more about Michael Finkelstein. Michael has displayed incredible leadership within Jay Nola this year. He is the chair of the Professional Networking Committee and headed one of Jay Nola's most successful events, Jay Network. His commitment to bettering our community extends beyond the new nuance. When the flooding happened in Baton Rouge, Michael independently raised funds for flood victims and volunteered with Jay Nola to gut out homes that had been destroyed. His dedication to Jay Nola and to the Jewish community at large has been inspirational, and I'm very proud to be, give him this award. Thank you, Dottie. And I'm very proud and honored to, have, to be receiving this award from you yes. and from the Federation. I'd like to first off thank the Federation and thank the people who are involved with it, especially Tana, David, and Amanda for their leadership and their support this year. Everyone who's involved in Jane Nola's many committees and groups and the people who support that organization. I'd like to also thank my family, especially my mom, who's, a, who's an incredible inspiration for me, especially growing up. 
uh, after our home was lost in Katrina and the devastation that we faced here locally in this community. And I'd really like to extend a big thank you to the LSU Campus Life Division and the people who are involved with that. And that group helped equip me with the tools uh, that inspired me to lead, to be involved in our community, and really gave me the background to take leadership roles and help, um, help our community. That's lovely.